ever wish you could copy all of the best content from our website and turn it into AI ready material? Meet Firecrawl and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to be able to get content off a website and then turn it to AI ready material without you having to do a thing. We'll also show you how to get screenshots from the different web pages and be able to generate images as well if you want to use it. But first, let's jump into a quick demo to see exactly how it works. We're going to come down to the bottom, open up the chat. We're going to come and get a URL. So in this case, we've got OpenAI board drama turning into a movie. Let me know if you want to see a video on that. I think we could do it ourselves much better with Google VO3 and other platforms. Let's send this off. What we're going to be able to do is using our Firecrawl API, we're going to go off and scrape all of that website content. We're then going to use our exec summary agent to be able to summarizing that new story, as well as being able to get a LinkedIn post. We're then going to go off, get our screenshot and then go and store it in Google Drive, generate some images and store this all in Google Sheets. As we can see here, we're going to be storing all of the data so it's nice and accessible in the future. If we come back across, we'll see here that we've got our AI summaries ready to go already for what that story is. And we can see here we've got lots of content that we would have got back from our Firecrawl module. If we come out of here, we'll see that we've also got the screenshot back of that specific web page. So we'll be able to use that maybe to generate some images or just store it for future use. We've gone off, we've generated three images that we can see here. Now we're going to go and store these in Google Drive, append them into our Google Sheets so that we can come back and see it in the future. And if we come back across, We'll see here that we've got the new line. We've got the LinkedIn post ready to go, as we can see here. And we've got the Google Drive. So now if I come across and open them up, we'll see that we've got the artwork in here. And then we've got OpenAI boardroom drama. So we've got number one, number two, number three. So if you wanted to go through and change this and use one of the better performing models instead of Flux, we'd be able to do that. But if you want to get access to it straight away, make sure to come across to the community You'll get access to everything from day one as part of your seven day free trial. Come into classrooms. We want to come down to AI agents. We're then going to come into where we've got fire, crawl, scrape, web data ready to go. You'll have access to all of the different curl requests and prompts that we're going to generate today. Come down, download the blueprint, press download, come into a new environment, come across to NA10's import file. We want to then select that blueprint we've just downloaded. And it will load up for you automatically so you won't need to do a thing and if you like that demo make sure to hit subscribe we've got lots of videos coming out each week focusing on automation ai and more so let's jump into and see exactly how we're going to be building this today so let's just get rid of all of these different modules and then we're going to come to the start now i'm going to go through and we're going to be using a chat trigger so that we can send off different urls nice and easily we're then going to come through and use a http request this is so that we can send our request off to Firecrawl. If I come across to Firecrawl here, we're going to be using this to make sure that we get it in ready to ingest LLM data fashion. It's used by so many different companies out here, so there's lots of good credibility around it. They've got lots and lots of different structures that you can use. If you're actually analyzing different websites, if you're trying to get past bot blockers, this is a great platform to be able to do it. We're going to be running through how to use the API today with the free plan. But as you can see here, it can be pretty cheap to use it. Or if you want to use it a bit more complex way, there is the SDK on the NA10's community nodes, which you can use as well. We're not going to be touching that today. We're going to come up to the top and sign into our account. As we see here, we've got lots and lots of information. The key part is our API keys. So we're going to come into here. And we're going to need to use this in a second. Now we're going to come across to the documentation side. I'll include the link below so you can find this, but we've already got it ready to go in the community. So we're going to copy across the curl request. So we'll come down here, we'll copy, we'll come into our account, come into here, import curl, and now it's going to be ready to go all straight away. We're just going to change this to JSON to make sure that it's all ready to go. And as we can see in here, we're going to be using that chat input. We're going to get it back in a JSON format. We're not going to look for any images and we're going to give it a prompt here of how we want it to condense that information we're going to get from the website. So let's come out of here. We'll do save. Let's come and get that URL that we had from before. So we'll copy and then come into here, 
We'll paste at the bottom here. Then we'll come back across to Firecrawl. We're going to create a new API key. We'll do YT demo, create, and then we'll be able to come to the top here, copy the code, come back across, and then we'll be able to paste into our HTTP request module so that we'll be able to scrape that data. Now, if I send this off, what we'll see here is it's now going off and analyzing that website, getting lots of information back for us to be able to use it. This is going to get rid of that HTML format. So that's something that looks quite jagged. I'll include a screenshot over the top just so you can see what it looks like. We're going to get it to look much better for our output that we want to use. There we go. So now we've got all of the content coming back on the right hand side here. We've got lots and lots of information we can use an OG title. We've got the URLs here. We've got the site name. Again, we can store all of this, but critically at the bottom, we've got that title that we want to use, the person that wrote it, the date it was published, and the content of that specific post. Let's come out of here. We're then going to come across to basic LLM. The reason I'm using this is because if we come out of here, come down to model, we can choose between all of these different models for us to be able to use. Now I'm going to come down and use OpenAI today just because it's nice and cheap to get the output that we're looking for. If you've not done it before, make sure to come through, add your API key in here from Playground of OpenAI. We've got lots of videos in the community that show you how to do this. We're going to come out of here. We're going to come back into our basic LLM. We're going to say that it's be defined below. We're then going to scroll down to the bottom and pull across the content. We're going to require a specific output, which we're going to add in a second. We'll do the prompt. We'll come down, change to expression, open this up. We'll come back across to the community. And then we're going to be able to copy and paste in here, which is our guiding on the output that we're looking for. Make sure to go through and update this if you want your LinkedIn or exec summary to be in a specific style. We've given it a rough guideline at the bottom there just to try and improve the output. We're going to come out of here, do save. We'll click on the output parser, JSON structured output. We're going to come back across to the community and then we'll copy the example that we've got here. So we're guiding the output of the AI agent. If we open this up, what we're telling the AI agent is we want an exec summary to come through as one part of the output. And then the second part is we want that LinkedIn post ready to go. And that makes it so much easier for when we go and store it in our Google Sheets a little bit later on. Let's pull that across. And now that's all ready to go to get the output we want. So if I do test step, what we should see is it goes through, analyzes the content of that story, and then gives us the output that we're looking for. So we'll just close this down. We'll come back into here and we'll see we've got the exec summary at the top and we've got that LinkedIn post ready to go. We'll come out of here. We'll do save. That's that first part done for getting the story. Now we're going to come back to the start. We're going to pull down here and we'll do HTTP request. One of the other great features around using Firecrawl is we're going to be able to actually do screenshots as well. So we're going to do that quickly now. We'll come back across to the community. We'll copy this curl request, come back across, import the curl into our new module. We'll do import and it's going to be ready to go already. We just need to change to expression, come up to the top, come out of here, and then we're going to come back into our first HTTP request, copy the API token, come across and paste in here. Let's just rename these so we don't get confused. So we'll say that this is screenshot. Fire call. Cool. And then we'll just rename this. So this will be our fire, fire, fire call of website. That's all good to go. Now what we can do is come into here. We see that we're going to be screenshotting the image. We're also going to be blocking any of the ads that come through. And we're going to make sure that we're using that same URL that we had at the start. If we do execute, what this should do is go off and screenshot that specific page that we're talking about from a bit earlier. And then we'll be able to save that as a PNG file to use in the future. To do that, we're going to need another HTTP request module because we're going to need the output from the left hand side here. So where we've got the successfully completed screenshot, which has just happened in the background, we're going to put across that screenshot keep it on get and then if you want to you can come down the bottom change to response and then we're going to change to file now if we do execute step we should get that png file that comes back and there we go exactly the same as what we had before so now we can just rename this to get screenshot and we're all good to go now we're going to come into the second part which is storing it so we're going to do google and then drive google drive 
we're going to do upload a file. Now I've already got a folder ready to go, which is where I'm storing all of the screenshots as well as the artwork we generate. So you just need to make sure that you're referencing back to that. Let's come back across to our environment. We're going to come into here. You're going to need to create a new credential. As you can see here, you need to fill in some information. We've got other videos on the channel that show how to do this and then include this link below that just walks through how to do it. It takes a little while, so that's why we're not covering it in this demo. We'll come back across. We're going to use the account that we've already got ready to go. We're going to need to come down the bottom. We're going to change the schema and we'll do screen shot and then we can pull across the title that we had from a bit earlier on so we'll come down to the bottom open this up where we got the screenshot and pull across the title there we go and then we're going to search for our folder which is the screenshot folder that we had in our fire crawl aspect there we go so now if we come across what we should see in the screenshots is that we've got the open ai board drama one in there already that was done at night at 7:52. We'll come back across. We'll do execute step. Now this should go green and that will say it's all uploaded. There we go. If we come back across, we'll just refresh our Google Drive. And there we go. We can see the next one has come through at three minutes past eight. So that's all uploaded and working fine. The next part is we want to analyze that image using OpenAI. So we're going to come back across, come out of here. We'll just align that up, pull down the bottom, and then we're going to do OpenAI. Now they've got an inbuilt module ready to go. There's lots of different functions you can do here, but we're looking for the analyze image one here. What we then need to do is making sure that we've got our account connected, come down to the model. Currently they're using chat GPT 4.0. You can choose between the different ones they've got here. We're just going to use that latest one that's available. We're going to change this text input here. So I'll just pull that down. We'll come across to the community. We're going to copy all of this. And what we're doing is guiding the AI agent on trying to get that good out output for us for generating an image a bit later on. We'll be able to close this down. We'll come down to the bottom here, change the binary file, and then you need to make sure data matches up with data here. This is so it knows what file we're going to be pulling across. So now if we do execute step, what it's going to do is analyze that screenshot that we took a bit earlier, and it's going to pass back our information here so as you can see, we've got a tech executive that's confidently standing in front of AI, OpenAI logo, dramatic background. Again, it's not a very good image prompt, but it's just helping us do it quickly. If you wanted another AI basic LLM chain afterwards, you'd be able to do that as well. Now I'm going to come across and copy this next part quickly, just so that we can run through and show how it happens at a high level, just to keep this a quite quick demo. So we're going to be using Replicate, which is this environment here. It gives you access to lots and lots of different image generation tools and you're only paying for what you need. So it doesn't mean that you have to have any subscriptions and it works out really well. They've got lots of different ones here that you can use. So play around with it and see which one you find best. We're going to be using the one down here, which is that Black Forest Labs dev. We're going to be paying 0.25 cents per image that we generate. We're going to want to come up to the top. We're going to do run with the API. You'll be able to come to HTTP request, copy this, and you'll be good to go. We've also got it in the community all ready to go. So if you want to get access to it, you won't need to do a thing. We're going to come back across. What you'll see here is we've got a code module, and it's taking this output from our AI analyzing content just to make sure that it's not got any quotation marks or anything that will mess up the JSON for when we send that request across. So now we'll go through and give this a quick test. We'll just say execute step. Now it's going to go through tidy it up so as we can see here we didn't have any quotation marks so it's all good to go straight away it's now going off and generating the images for us we're going to then come through get the outputs and then we're going to store them in google drive we're going to need to update it in here though which is just the title that we're giving to each one so on the left hand side we're going to say where we've got get screenshot we can use this or if we wanted to come back to the start and shoot and use the screenshot fire call, we can do that instead. So actually, let's come back to the start, and then we need to get rid of this, and we need it to match up with the title here, which is screenshot, and then fire call, and now it'll go green. What this is doing is every image is going to append one, so that's where we can add one, so it goes image one, image two, image three, and it's going to add it into our file. Now, if we do execute step, it should go off and add it all into our files, no problems at all. 
In the aggregate module, what we're doing is we're adding that web view link. So on the left hand side here, that web view link that we've got from uploading it into Google Drive so that we only get the three web links on the right hand side here to use versus all of this data, which can be a little bit confusing for a bit later on. We'll come out of here, do save. We're then going to come up to the top. We're going to add one of the last nodes here, which is going to be add node. We'll do merge. We'll come in here, choose that. We're going to change the option here. So we'll do combine. We're going to come down to position and we're going to have two inputs. We'll do save and just pull this up the top. Now we're going to connect our basic LLM. So that's where we did the analysis a bit earlier on with the output from our AI image generator that we did just now. So what we can do is re-execute this step. That will get the analysis to come through again, just scraping that website. And then we'll go through and make sure that we store it in Google Sheets. So we'll just wait for this to come back. It takes a couple of seconds, depending on how large the website is. Again, this is so much quicker than trying to do it manually, try and review all these dis different websites. These are really good for your AI agents. So you can scrape lots of data and have some context around maybe a client, or you can do news stories, or another good use case is being able to use it with like Product Hunter, maybe to see what the latest and greatest ones are, or you can do the recommendations to potentially your clients as well. We're going to come back across as it looks like we're all good to go. So now we've got the executive summary, the LinkedIn posts from input one and input two. And in that aggregate, we've now got the web view links that we'll be able to use. And that's been aggregated on the right hand side here. So that's the only content that we need. Now we'll come across, we'll do Google and then sheet, Google sheets. We're going to do append a row in a sheet. Now I've already got this template ready to go, which you'll get access to in the resources. What we've said is we've got a title, the author, the date, the main content that we've scraped, the summary that we've generated, the LinkedIn post that we've generated, and those three screenshot URLs from our Google Drive. Now, if we come back across, we'll be able to choose the different documents. So in this case, it's called Websites Analyzed and Scraped. So we'll just come back across, we'll paste in there, and we'll be able to load it up straight away. We did some testing a bit earlier on, so that's why we've got the two sheets. So for example, here, these are some of the most popular AI tools out there, but now we're doing it for the news articles. We need to make sure we're selecting the news articles tab. We'll come back across, choose that second sheet here, which is news articles. It's going to be able to pull across this information for us. Now what we need to do is update it. So we're going to put across our exec summary. We're going to put across the LinkedIn post, and we're going to put across the screen, three screenshots. So they're all ready to go. We'll close down this merge module though, and we're going to come back to where we've got fire crawl of website. We'll scroll down to where we've got the JSON output, and then we'll pull across the title, the author, the date that it was done, and the content as well. So now what we can see here is we've got three different outputs that we've had so far. If I just collapse this down, what we should see is it a little bit neater. Now we can go through and add that new one in. So we'll do execute step. And now once this has gone green, we'll be able to go back across to Google Sheets and we'll see at the bottom here, we've now got that new row ready to go straight away. So there's so many different use cases for this that you'd be able to do, no matter if you're looking to get some screenshots of different websites to be able to use, or just to scrape the data that you need off it and be able to use it with your AI agent straight away. Make sure to come across to the community, you'll get access to all of these resources plus much, much more for AI agents, masterclasses, and lots that you'll be able to take advantage of. Stay tuned for more around AI agents, automation, and have a great day.